Yeah, Lauren, it was my first time experiencing the uh, Pebble Beach Food and Wine event, and I have to say it was just a whirlwind of different kinds of food and flavors. There was so much to see and taste. Take a look. It's our best year yet. It is our biggest year yet. The list of chefs at the final grand tasting event at the 2016 Pebble Beach Food and Wine reads like a who's who of the culinary world. Tacos, come on in, everybody, grab them. Each serving a taste of home in each bite. All the flavors of the United States are in one tip right now. And that's what's so incredible. From Texan tacos and Cuban duck sandwiches to Hawaiian octopus and wild boar, the chefs are pushing the envelope when it comes to flavor. Like heaven. <laughs> it's really good. It's, um, I don't even know how to describe it. We've, uh, we've had some uh, eels from octopus uh, as a response, but uh, you know, 99% of the people uh, just love the creativity. A place like this is the place to go if you want to try dishes that you've never tried before. Right? Everybody kind of stick with their comfort zone, but the fun always begins outside of your comfort zone. But it's also a chance for chefs to talk shop and experiment with not just what's on the plate, but the plate itself. So it's not only about like the mushrooms as a uh, cooking medium, it's also, uh, we use it as a serving vessel at Post Ranch. Um, so it's kind of just exploring all the different uh, textures and uses uh, for such a really, really cool organism. I mean, there's a lot of changes in the food world now in restaurants, whether tipping should or should not take place, whether cooks are making the kind of money they, they should be making, how to survive rents increasing. So it's kind of nice to have a format like Pebble Beach where after we do our work, we can all hang out together and uh, figure out the next 10 years. And the event is stepping it up with technology as well. I spoke to the director earlier today and he said that this year they live streamed a champagne and caviar event to Chicago. So that means people in Chicago were eating and drinking the same champagne and caviar while watching a panel live here in Pebble Beach. And the director says that next year for the 10th anniversary, they're going to be doing more of those live streaming events around the world so that people who maybe can't make it out here to California don't have to miss out on Pebble Beach food and wine. Lauren. Wonderful. Great idea. I got to go out there too, Bianca. It was fabulous. Well, growing up, you may have been told not to play with your food, but one local pastry chef is putting fun at the center of his restaurant's latest creation. The restaurant 1833 in downtown Monterey featured a cosmetic line at Pebble Beach Food and Wine this year. That's right, makeup products that are edible. They're calling it simply 1833 Cosmetics. So the colors I used were, were uh, different colors that maybe uh, people would use as lipstick or, or eyeshadow. So that was, my, uh, that was my idea behind it. We made a shape of a lipstick and, and a little plastic tube you could put in and, and you could kind of use it as lipstick. And once the chocolate melts on your lips, um, it, it's kind of red, uh, but it also tastes like chocolate. This pastry chef says it's an idea he's been toying with for a while and it ended up being a big hit this weekend.